doable. <laughs> so I'm sorry for that. Let's give it another two minutes. Um, while we are waiting for um, technical problems to be solved, um, I will present myself. Hi, I'm Juana, and I'm uh, here to talk to you and uh, interact with you on a topic that it's called Agile and Meaning Shared Leadership. And the idea is that meaning is a trigger for shared leadership. So um, while waiting, let's start. So I'll do the first with a green marker. My first, uh, my first slide. I don't know about you, but uh, when I started to work with Agile teams, I started with software development teams. Those teams were Agile. And there were two walls between the two teams. The wall of requirements. Turn requirements into backlog. The second wall was the, the wall of Q&A, what I'm calling which means working tested features. What did you suppose it went? <laughs> exactly. I know. You thought it. But whatever you, you suppose it means, it's always what the QA guy was thinking when he received something to test. So the QA is buried under this wall of testing. And separate behind the wall is uh, the operation team. So that was Agile in IT when I started. And because it, the, the Agile was isolated like that, I call that situation the Agile ghetto. People in the Agile ghetto, so the software teams, um, the, the good thing about it is that they come to have an awareness that Agile is not only about uh, execution of a set of practices, like Scrum practices. It's about a mindset. Hallelujah. <laughs> it's about a mindset. And because it's about the mindset, we started, they, these teams started to um, improve their, that mindset quality bring in coaches and try to bring in other people, you know, that were over those two walls. Remember those walls. Those two walls, what I called and here is in this two walls is the Agile team. Software development, IT team. So this means corroborative requirements analysis process. You always know that. So between two. OK. So um, trying to convince the people that are behind these two walls, and mainly the managers, these team become very unhappy because the the, those people don't get the Agile mindset, don't, do they? They don't get it. So um, even if there was an awareness and there are a lot of games and uh, thinking uh, out of the box, this, this IT team, software development, are not happy. Does that bring, uh, does, does this story ring any? Bell to you from your personal history. Okay, this is this this second stage. It's what I call the agile therapy. 
because I, these unhappy teams are on continuous therapy. So um, to solve that, um, I, what I would like to offer is this, go for what I call the inner first phase of inner leadership. The inner leadership is let go of the universal source reason of all problems in the world. You know what's the universal source of all problems in the world. Pretty sure you do. Yes, that's a that's a ver that's the true answer. So thank you for that. But what is the more super you know the first answer? You can go. <laughs> who's who's reason of all the problems we have? Who's the reason of all the problems I have? Management. Whose mindset? Managers' mindset. Leaders. Okay. So ego. Whose ego? Leadership, who's the ego? Managers. managers. So mainly managers ego. So um, the universal uh, source of problems in the uh, of all problems is the others. Managers are very much quoted here, but other people. So the first thing is to let go this universal source and shift perspective. Um, because there's something that is pretty true, and I quote um, something that Peter Senge, Senge quotes in his book, Fifth Discipline. People don't resist to change. People resist to be changed. And I want you to do a quick experience right now on that. Um, change something on yourself. We have a lot of options, uh, a lot of options. And I have to give examples. So I have this amazing three bracelets that I'm taking off. I'm not seeing you. So change anyone change something on your own time. You're changing. I, I see I know changing. Thank you for so I really would like you to change something on yourself. I'm it's waiting. Yeah, 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 yeah. All, everyone has, come on, everyone has a, a nice, uh, a nice change that can be done. Yeah. Okay, okay. Um, let's, okay. Do you like this elephant? So let's stick to this elephant while we finish the exercise, and then we go back to Paul to Kina. Okay? So everyone did a change. I really trust you did it. Okay. Great. Uh, it seems more complex than I thought, but uh, anyways. Okay. Now I really want you to cooperate with me. So I'm very grateful to do that because this might be a little bit challenging. Find a pair. Someone is next to you. And now I want you, please, to change something on this person. And changing something doesn't mean ask him or her to change. Go and change it on the other person. <laughs> <laughs> because asking is easy. Go and change it. And please do it. So that's why I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was not really on her. You kind of cheated. But so, while you do that, I will put the keynote on. <laughs> yeah, thank you. I try to do it without. <laughs> Where the heck is it? Oh, yeah. Here. Here. Come on. Go 
doesn't seem that I can. Doesn't go on keynote. It's an elephant. About keynote. Uh, hmm. Which where? Yeah. Get where? Sync master best. Oh, gather Indra's here. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Gather windows here also. No. Hmm. I mean, <clears throat> yeah. Let's try. This this exercise was not scheduled, but uh, okay. While you are helping me with this, um. Okay, why are his helping is doing this exercise by, by himself? Thank you so much for that. Um, just, I, I want to share, I want you to share with me, so thank you. How was the first move, changing something on your own self? Co easy, comfortable, mm. kind of trivial at the end of the day, yeah. How was it to change something on someone else? Awkward. Awkward. <laughs> from, from the perspective of the person that was changed, when you were changed, how did you feel? Uncomfortable. uncomfortable. What, could, what would you say more than uncomfortable, if you want to clarify? Not easy to take. I remember when I first did this exercise, I felt it threatening. <laughs> I mean, it's not a durational, uh, but, uh, but the, my gut said, oh my God. <laughs> when, as a change agent in the, this exercise, how did you feel? Oh, thank you. Miracle. Miracle. Thank you. Enjoy this moment. Thank you. Thank you very much. And <laughs> you've changed me. Thank you. <laughs> um, so, as a change agent, when you change someone, how did it feel? When you change some the, your neighbor, weird, awkward. How awkward? Why was it awkward? Because you're pushing something. Yeah, exactly. Crossing limits. Yeah, exactly. Because you don't really know what's the safe space of the other person. And you cross the line. And this is also personal and cultural. And exactly as this very easy exercise, this is exactly what happens when you want to transform teams. When you, the team that, want, that is transformed, it's uncomfortable because you don't know what, what would happen to you. Might be also threatening. And as a change agent, you are not comfortable also. And when you're not comfortable, this, the signal is amplified. I mean, you get the other team more uncomfortable. So the thing is that, uh, and this is my first takeaway, on this, that the only change starts with one person and that person is oneself. And um, now, what a mess. And now I'm going to all the slides till arriving on this. So this is the first slide, you know, that I try to, the, the, the software team between, if you want to, yeah. <laughs> you, you once said you, you like better my slide than, than my wonderful sketch. Uh, mm, yeah, no, I don't take it personally. 
um, thought was Agile Ghetto. The, um, when we get awareness, so it's the attitude, and the others don't understand ourselves. And this is what I call the agile despair when people is in, uh, teams are in therapy. And so de develop the inner leadership. The quotes that I really share of Peter Senge. And something where I said, while I'm coming to India, there's a wonderful leader from India. I don't know if you know her. Uh, Nilima Bhatt, that developed something that is called the Shakti leadership, which I understand that means the, the female leadership, but in, in also in, in, in men. I mean, uh, well, anyways, it's called Shakti leadership. And she says pre presence um, um, provides the creative energy to innovate and create empathy, conscious leadership. So to do that, to develop this inner leadership in oneself to trigger change, I'm proposing you an exercise right now, which is inspired by the inquiry leadership by uh, Mary Lee Adams. And this is the, what is called the choice map. And said, when you are in a difficult situation, you have two choices, you know, the pills thing, to react or to choose. And then you can have the judger pathway or the learner pathway. On the judger pathway, in a difficult situation, the first question is, whose fault is it? Does that ring any bell to you? Does the, did that happen to you or never? It happened to me. Sorry, that's the mic. Uh, it happened to me, getting angry as it. And the second is, why is that happening to me again and again? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with the others? Remember the, the quick exercise we've done? If you're in a judger path and say, I have to change you, I have great stuff for you, and I'm throwing it over you, and you don't accept it. I feel awkward, you feel awkward, and my question is, what's wrong with me? I'm a lousy change agent. If this uh, workshop sucks, I will say I'm a lousy facilitator. And my second question is, might can be, what's wrong with them? I mean, I'm offering all this good stuff and they don't get it, so what's wrong with them? And then, this is, the ultimate questions. Why am I such a failure? Why are they so stupid? Does that ring any bell to you? <laughs> and then you are in the judger pit, <laughs> deep down in the judger pit. So what it says, uh, this is out of, um, of the works so of, of Mary Lee. Uh, that has changed your questions, changed your life. And um, something that she says that really resonated with me is um, you can't change things that happen, but you can change the pers your own perspective on those things. And changing the perspective is um, embracing a, a learner path. So, the, yeah, sorry, I for forgot about that. This is the automating group automating reaction and uh, blame focused. So change the questions is what assumptions am I making? It's, it's okay. Um, what is happening? What do I want in this situation for myself and for the others? What are the others thinking, feeling? Am I responsible of anything on this? What is possible? What are my options? So this is thoughtful choices um, and when we're relating. So what I want you to do right now is reflect for five minutes or a difficult situation and uh, try to ask yourself these two types of question. After five minutes, I will do this. And let's say that when you see me, you do the same. Let's, let's train that, see if it works.
wonderful. This is a way to focus. And, and then you exchange for two minutes with a pair and see how, how that works. Is that okay? So five minutes. No. Okay? Reflect. on your own. Try to write down something on it. <laughs> yes, in the past, yeah. One, one situation that was a difficult situation for you, and that might have triggered some judger questions and judgments. In five minutes, you might not have time, but just feel the difference when you ask yourself the learner set of questions. Maybe not all of them, some of them. Okay, thank you. I confess I chit a little bit, it's a little bit less than five minutes. Um, but I've, I've seen that people already exchanged for two minutes or so, try to exchange with someone how did it felt to, to change perspective. So share with a pair or with a group how, how you're comfortable. Okay, two minutes.
is a thing that I would like to say. Can actually grow me. I sort of be seen and I, I can be like this. I have no idea what I want. What do they think? To be honest, I don't know. Okay. So I know I know that's quick, but I try to go through all the stuff. Um, how did that felt for you? Anyone is willing to share? Something. Yeah, please. I think we have a mic somewhere. That's okay. I, I can. Okay. Uh, can you really hear me? Uh, okay. Uh, sorry, I ate up all the time, but. Um, I mean, I first I went down the whole mm -hmm. path and I sort of relived all these <laughs> negative feelings that mm -hmm. I had when I was uh, spiraling mm -hmm. down. And I sort of relived that for two traumatic minutes. <laughs> and then uh, I sort of went through some questions that if I had known what mm -hmm. to learn about, I may have asked myself at that time, which might have pulled me out of the spiral mm -hmm. much earlier than mm -hmm. how I eventually mm -hmm. got out of it. No. Okay. Thank you. So, thank you. <laughs> Someone else wants to share how it felt to change the perspective. Anything that someone learned about own self. Okay. So I, I, I actually reflected on the real situation, and I, I did go straight to the judge of things. Mm -hmm. Except mm -hmm. I look at what I did. Mm -hmm. I spent a few days in judge and then I mm -hmm. had to, I realized I did then flip mm -hmm. to the learner mm -hmm. approach, but it was just fascinating, but I didn't have a model, I just mm -hmm. kind of did it naturally, luckily, and sometimes you can stay in the judge and if you can't get yourself out, it's, mm -hmm. it's okay. okay, thank you very much. This is also, the, the, some of you might know the, the fixed mindset and growth myself or, or from Carol Dweck, it is related. But I thought that this choice map is really helpful to train oneself on getting out of the, of the judger path. So um, to move forward, uh, yeah, that you always have a choice so to switch a lane, the lane from judger to learner, somewhere in between. When you realize you're in a judger part, you can switch. This is a, the, the, good, uh, the good news. And also, the switch lane is a very helpful tool or option not to not be a judger of your own self. Because we love judge other people, but we are completely fan of beating ourselves <laughs> also. So uh, you have the switch lane for that. Um, if we create this inner leadership, and this was a very quick hint on the tool, on inner leadership. The idea is to, now what? Now I can bring my, my conscious learner perspective in the group and create something together, a product in, in, with intention. And here is a part about the power of purpose. Because if you throw a purpose into a crowd, the crowd will self-organize. So purpose is a driver for autonomy. That's why really, and create then brilliant stuff. And then you can add whatever, how to. Purpose is, and I was just to say, purpose is one of the, the, the axes of Dan Pink's model. And I really, I love to quote um, David Huseman as the invest in purpose because the values of the Jude Law that said that purpose is the value is the why over the how. So invest in why, less in how. And purpose also, I've, I've done some, some reading, helps to have a psychological balance 
And Franz Rupert, which is a therapist, says that psychological health is preserved when people take action that have meaning for themselves. So um, lack of purpose leads to disempowerment. Because I, I'm telling you what to do, and what you will do will make no sense. That's disempowering. And disempowerment is a potential threat to mental health. So it's as serious as that, <laughs> the lack of purpose. Um, so now uh, the next step I want to um, share with you is how we can create purpose. And as I'm a quote fan, I can't resist the temptation to, to offer you this quote, philosophical, from psychological to philosophical. And Nietzsche said that the one who knows his why can, um, can um, bear, exactly. I, I had borrow intent. No, it's not, that's not the word. <laughs> can bear almost anyhow. Um, and when you have a purpose, I want to share, you can have this over uh, overview effect that connects you directly to your uh, inner purpose overview effect everyone knows what that is it's the, the you you know what it is the overview effect the overview effect is the feeling that astronauts have when they get off the the earth and see this image of the earth they directly connects to the purpose of their life to preserve something that is greater than themselves. So what I would like to bring is that every team has this feeling of overview effect, have a shared purpose as a shared leadership, and they create a product with a clear intention. And we talk about purpose, but what I really love to bring in is a shared dream. So. Another minute to think, you all, maybe a lot of you guys are part of a team. So what is your shared dream in your team? Think of that. You might say, well, we don't have one. But maybe something you can take out from here is to reflect on it. So one minute to reflect, what would what is the shared dream of your team? Or what would you like it to be? One minute. And write it down might be more helpful. Okay, hopefully you have the answer, but you can also reflect on the question when you get out of this room. Um, so this purpose, intention, or dream is really the change threshold. If you connect to those, the, that purpose, you have either, you can be in the flow because you have continuous connection, and you have the intention. And this will be the threshold to transform. Something important about the purpose, you have a purpose, but we as a social tribes we need to be useful to someone. So the next question is usefulness. Who is it for? Your shared dream. What, who would benefit? To whom will it benefit? So I'll let you another minute to answer that question. Your shared dream will benefit to whom?
my name it's 10 minutes or five minutes or 10 minutes hi wow you have the did you nail it okay and if you did not you can also check this question and think of it and actually we have maybe three minutes for an exercise that I thought I could, I hoped I could do it in more time, but uh, can offer it to you. Um, that purpose also triggers culture refactoring. And um, with all these questions that you've answered, what I wanted to, you to try to put in right now is create a pitch. Creating a pitch is always helpful to have clarity of purpose. What is a pitch? Is you present yourself when you're telling. So you are, you know, remember, change starts with yourself. So you present, you present yourself. Present yourself. I'm one. I'm one. And my project is to connect everyone with its own, his or her own inner authenticity. Next, the hook. Describe your context. What is the context to be changed? And what is a dream? You remember I just asked you the question. Present the dream. To whom it, it will benefit? For, who or for whom is your dream? What will you do about it to access to your dream? And a call to action. How, what is your message to the stakeholders, to the world, to whatever? And the reminder. So the idea was that if someone was brave enough to pitch, but I don't think we have time to, to really and build a pitch and present it. But I would like to have um, kind of two minutes and try to put it down in a pitch way, you know, your dream, your benefits. OK? Give okay, three minutes. Yeah. yeah. It is an exercise. It was an, uh, a question about is this a team level or senior level. I think it's an exercise at all levels, so starting from individual to senior. So at a senior leadership level, I was thinking about it. If you talk to them about it, they, they have it in their mind. Like, mm -hmm. This is a dream, and the, I, we know who, who would be who would benefit from it. So I don't know what they would take out of it, right? but I see. Uh, maybe this kind of thing wouldn't be so clear with the team because they are more mm. into delivering their mm -hmm. things and less thinking about the hierarchy. Well, that's okay. Um, I will answer that after. Okay. Mm. I think I still have two minutes left or something like that. I'm sorry for speeding up like that. I, I know that this is a too short time to finish it, but for the two minutes I gave you for it, which, which is near to impossible, I just want you to share how did it go, what's, what was difficult to start with, or what was easy about it. And then I will ask you. Yeah. So we used to share. Yeah. Yeah. Because it was interesting. You put it down. Hmm? Because without putting it down, I would not realize that in my mind it was clear. Yeah. So it was clear, but without being yeah. understanding. It was clear. And actually, it can become clear for others yeah. also. Yeah. We also have a share. 
Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. And question mark around that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So anything difficult about it? Okay. So um, I had a question here, and I at what level you can do it? Uh, I think you can do it at all levels, starting from personal level to senior level. And actually, this is not a corporate. I mean, it's there's. I call it a pitch because the exercise is pitching, but I'm really linking it for the shared, with a shared dream and purpose and gives a little bit of structure. It's, and it's very interesting that every type of team has a shared dream, which is an authentic, genuine dream, not the corporate communication. <laughs> you know, so that's, I mean, investing time into, into this. And, um, Thank you for that. I think that the only thing that I want to just to wrap up is to transform. The first thing is clear your agenda. And this is uh, more for, for manager. There's no transformation that can happen if there's no place to do it. You know, your agendas are packed. So first thing, clear the agenda. Then observe with intention. Observe yourself. Change your questions. How do you perceive the world differently? Connect with the purpose, your purpose and the team purpose. That is connecting your, with your own authenticity. And give, by the way, psychological mental health, so it's good. Then, that's a journey to the edge. Then, prototype something. Do something for someone. Observe what happened, and then that's transformed. So this is what I call hacking transformation. That's what I call it, <laughs> uh, managing like a pirate. And the, the U shape, it's inspired by the theory U transformation. But the manage like a pirate is something I've put in. Uh, do, going all the steps. We've very quickly shared, because I designed for a longer workshop. Uh, much, much longer workshop. <laughs> and this creates really shared leadership for me. If you have a team shared dream, you can trigger leadership in anyone. And a sh shared leadership, shared purpose develops shared leadership. And the, th the thing is, as I said, change your questions, you now the perception is change the question of how we transform to become agile and what change do we want to see make it happen. Thank you very much. I'm Juana and I'm presenting this Agile and Meaning Shared Leadership Workshop. Thank you. <laughs>